Hey guys, Scott here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install plugins in WordPress. So the first step you need to do is to log into WordPress or your installation of WordPress. So what you would do here is come up and to the address bar here and type in the location of your blog. So for my example, it's mine's mywebsite.com forward slash blog. But if you installed your blog straight to your site, it'll be your site.com to go to your blog. And then we want to follow this by forward slash wp-login.php. So that'll be where your blog's installed to, followed by forward slash wp-login.php, and then enter. And then just enter your login details. So from your dashboard, to install plugins, you want to come down on the left here where it says plugins and click this drop down arrow. And for a fresh blog, you pretty much won't have any plugins. So the first thing we're going to look at is installing new plugins. So we want to click add new here. So this is the install plugins section. There's a few different ways you can install plugins. If you've found a site that offers a WordPress plugin for you and they, and you've downloaded that plugin from that site, you can actually click upload here. And then you can click browse and then you just use this to locate your, the plugin that you've downloaded and then click install now and that'll upload and install that plugin. However, for most of you, your plugins will be installed straight through WordPress and you won't need to download or upload anything. So we'll just come back to the search here. Okay, so once you've clicked add new plugins, this will be the first page you see. Now you can find plugins a few different ways. You can click the tags down here, which will link you to plugins that actually have those tags assigned to them. But the ways I like to find plugins are to use these links here. You've got featured plugins, popular plugins, and newest. So let's have a look at popular. These are the plugins that are most downloaded by the WordPress users. So these are the popular plugins. And that'll just list those here. So you see there's a decent list there. And then there's also pages of this. So you can, this is page one, it's one at the moment. You can go next page and sift through the pages to look at the most popular plugins. So these will be in order of most popular. And you see this first one is Google Analytics for WordPress. So if you use Google Analytics or you want to use Google Analytics, this plugin will allow you to easily install the Google Analytics code into your blog so that you can start tracking all the stats and statistics for your site. So that's a good plugin, makes it much easier to set up Google Analytics. And if you wanted that, all you'd do is click Install Now. I'll install this just to show you how it works. So click Install Now. It says, are you sure you want to install this plugin? Just click OK. Then it'll run through the installation process and you just want to confirm that it says successfully installed the plugin here. So that's the plugin we have now. Now you can activate the plugin or return to plugin installer. For now, I'm just going to return to plugin installer. So you're back to this page again. So if you wanted to look at the popular ones again, you just click popular here. And that'll bring that list up again. You can read through the plugins, finding ones you like. This one here is the all-in SEO pack, which is a good plugin to use for search engine optimization. Um, I actually have a tutorial on installing this and using it from on my site, which will be under customizing WordPress and under improving or improve WordPress SEO. So that'll show you how to install that one and customize it and set it up and actually use that plugin. Currently I have it installed, but you can install that if you don't have it already. You've got contact forms, tiny MCE advanced. That would be a different editor for adding in your posts and pages. Sitemap generator, that'll be useful. So I'm going to install this one as well. Actually, instead of installing that one now, let's say you wanted the sitemap for your blog to use the sitemap to be able to submit to Google and stuff. Come back to search here. So let's say we wanted the sitemap. In the search, just type in sitemap and then click search plugins. So this should show a list of all the different plugins that are sitemaps. So the first one here is a sitemap. It's got a good rating, so it's full five stars. Then you've got XML sitemap. You've got all the different sitemap plugins. Here's that Google XML sitemaps, which has also got a good rating. So now you can just read through these. You can click details on ones you want to learn more about, and then click install now on the one you want. 
So I'm just going to go with this first one here and just click install now. Are you sure you want to install? Okay. So let's say you use the search, so that one it's successfully installed. I'm going to return to plugin installer. And now I'm going to look at featured plugins. So these are all featured plugins by WordPress. This top one's a good stats for WordPress that lets you track real time stats for your blog, like how many visitors you have, what pages or what blog posts they're visiting, etc. However, Google Analytics is probably better and you can see that's only got three stars really. But there are all the different like featured plugins. So you got the featured ones, popular, you can go through the plugins you want, but most of the time you'll probably use the search when you want a specific plugin. So say you wanted a calendar to put on your blog, you can type in calendar here and then click search. And this will display a list of different calendar plugins. So I'll just install this first one here so that I've got a calendar plugin. Now, a lot of plugins will be widgets and what widgets are are just, they're the blocks of code that you can put onto the front of your page. For an example, I'll just load my blog now, like the actual front page of it, of what visitors see. So a widget is basically the block of code that people see on your front page. Like this new links here is a widget. It's a links widget. Here's a HTML widget. So this, if I put HTML code there, it would show whatever the code's telling it to. You've got different widgets here. So widgets are basically the blocks of the different functionality ones you put on the front. So if I, for that calendar I just installed, it would have a widget part to it. And the widget I could put here that would display a calendar. Widgets are actually, I show you how to use widgets and manage them in the, in the um, manage WordPress widgets tutorial here. So from my site, you can go customizing WordPress, manage WordPress widgets. So the plugins install, some plugins install widgets as well. And you can learn how to use those and manage those there. But for now, we're just looking at the back end of plugins and how to change settings for the plugins. Okay, so now I've installed a few plugins. I want to have a look at the plugins I've installed and activate or deactivate which ones I want. So what I do now is on the left here under plugins, you can do this from any page in the admin side of your WordPress installation. Select plugins, which is up the top here. So just click that. And just remember, if you can't see that, there's just this little arrow beside it that extends that menu. So you can just click that button there to extend the menu. Okay, so now these are the plugins installed to my blog. And you can see if it says deactivate here, that means it's activated. So this plugin is currently active. So that's active, 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 inactive, 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 inactive. So when it says activate, it means it's not act currently active. So these will show all the plugins. And here's one of the calendar ones we installed, which is currently deactivated. So let's just activate this one. If it's deactivated, it won't actually have the widget available when you go to edit your widgets and rearrange how they're shown on your blog. So if you want this widget to be available, you need to activate it. So then you can see that says plugin activated. And if we scroll down now, now it says the deactivate button here. So now that's activated. You can tell which is activated and not activated because the white ones are active. And these ones that are slightly gray are deactive or deactivated. So now we can activate the other ones if we want. We can activate Google Analytics. So activate that. We can activate the sitemap. But let's just activate Google Analytics and have a look how you would actually add in your analytics code. Okay, so you can see plugin was activated but it also has a red warning here that says it's not active because you need to select which analytics profile to track before it can work. So what we need to do now is come down to this Google Analytics for WordPress plugin we just activated. And you can see it's got settings here. Now you can see the settings and edit. With the edit one, you won't really want to click that because I'll show you. If I click edit, it actually brings up editing for the code of this um, plugin. So 99% of you won't have a clue what this is and you won't be able to change it and changing it will most likely just stuff up the plugin. So ignore the edit button because you won't know what to change there. But any that have the settings button have settings you can actually change for that plugin. So in this case is a Google, Google Analytics one. So let's click settings. Okay, so now we're in the settings one. Say you've set up your Google Analytics account or you already have one get your Google Analytics code and you can click here manually enter 
your code. So you can enter your UA code here, which will be in the code from Google Analytics. Or you can actually click here to authenticate with Google. So if you click this, I'll click on it now. You can actually authenticate it to link with Google and you click grant access if you wanted to. Now, I don't want to do that now because this is just a sample blog. So if I go back, you can see it says here, note, if you have multiple Google accounts, you'll want to switch to the right account first since Google doesn't let you switch accounts on the authentication screen. So what this means is if you have Google Analytics that you've set up for this blog or for your blog, make sure that you log into Google Analytics first using the right account before you click this. If you click this, we'll go straight to authenticating with the currently active or currently activated login. So each plugin will have different settings, but that's basically how you get to the settings for the plugins. So I'm going to click plugins here again to get back to the list of plugins. Let's say you wanted to deactivate this plugin now because you didn't want to set up the analytics yet. All you do is click deactivate for that plugin. So that's easy, that deactivated. Now let's look at removing a plugin. You can't actually remove any active plugin. So let's say you wanted to delete this calendar plugin. You can't at the moment. So what you need to do is deactivate it. So click the deactivate here. And now there'll be a delete button there. So now you can click delete. So I click delete. It'll say, are you sure you want to delete this? And just go, yes, delete these files. And that will remove that plugin. If you wanted to remove multiple ones, just select ones you wanted to remove. They have to be deactivated to be able to remove them. But select the ones you want, do bulk action here, and you can choose delete. And then just click apply, and that'll delete all those ones you've got ticked. So that's basically how to install and manage your plugins. If you've installed plugins that have a widget component to them and you want to learn how to manage widgets, just come back to my site and click on the manage WordPress widgets tutorial, and then you can run through that tutorial to teach you how to manage the widgets for WordPress. If you're watching this video on YouTube and this tutorial helped you, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.